whatever the case might be, we are going to amicably distance ourselves from this business relationship and we both are going to move forward. I'm saying all of that to say, okay, what if these reports are true? Showtime and PBC will not renew their contract. Okay, it's business. Okay. And this may not be a bad idea overall. May not be a bad idea. How do we know? I mean, we don't know Amazon Prime's budget because that's the other company that these reports are saying that Al Heyman and PBC representation are in talks or negotiations with Amazon Prime. Speaking of Prime, what happened to BLK Prime? What happened to them? I'm just asking because when that whole situation happened with BLK Prime, uh, we didn't hear a lot of media talking about that business relationship. We didn't hear it. I'm, I'm just saying, we, we did not hear it. Oh, we hearing about Al Heyman and PBC and Showtime. Oh, we hearing about their business relationship, and that might not work out. But what about when BLK Prime didn't work out? Some people swept it under the rug. Or well, what about when ESPN laid off over 20 of their sports media personalities because of budget issues? We heard about it for like a day, and then that was swept under the rug. I'm just, I'm just saying this. Was, in other words, is why every time it comes to PBC, people have to sensationalize it. Always have to speak on it in a negative. Oh, PBC. Oh, Showtime. Oh, 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 oh man, they, something ain't right. Why? It's always Showtime and PBC. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Oh, they're doing bad business. They're doing bad business. They're doing bad business. But when other networks, and one of them went out of business, from what I've been told and what we all been told from the other content creator who was over there, Everybody speak on that. ESPN downside. They down. They downsized. They had budgeting issues. They're trying to work things out for the new fiscal year. We heard it for about a day or two, and next thing you know, swept under the rug. Didn't hear nothing else about it. Oh, but now it's PBC. Oh, oh, oh! Now it's Showtime, and we're hearing that they're not going to renew the contract with each other. So all of a sudden, now it's a bad idea. All of a sudden, I told you so. Told y'all, y'all didn't want to listen when we talked about Paramount. I told y'all when y'all didn't want to listen when we told y'all PBC was going out of business. Yeah, that's what people, I'm sure that's what they're saying. Know your source. That's my spiritual principle for the day. The point that I'm making in that, Last piece that I brought up, some people have selective outrage. Oh, when it happens to other companies, it's cool. And ESPN is a global, global network. Number one, global network. But ESPN don't talk about boxing, do they, y'all? Let's keep it 100. They talk about every other sport. Every single day. They find topics on every other sports. Every single day, all day long. Except for boxing. I'm not hating on them. I'm just pointing out some facts. But when they had the downsides, and most of the personalities that they laid off were people with longevity, with notoriety, with fame, and definitely, and definitely were receiving millions of dollars in their paycheck. On a yearly basis. Nobody talked about that. Uh, but now there's negative coverage on PBC, Al Heyman, and Showtime. Why is that? It's interesting to me. Selective outrage. I want to speak on that. Because think about it in this sense, right? And I'm not taking up for PBC, Showtime, or none of them. 
I'm just using basic logic so we all can at least have a foundation to move forward with whether this is true or not and how to deal with it. So when Al Heyman and PBC secured those network deals, you know, like with Spike TV, ESPN, before Top Rank went over there, some of y'all have short-term memory and forgot that PBC was on ESPN. Okay, anyway, Fox, FS1, a lot of people didn't want to give credit to PBC and Al Heyman for securing multiple network deals at one time as they were using the monetary resources to build up and prepare their fighters in their stable. Why? Why? So we can talk about them today. And a handful of them are pay-per-view superstars. Now, I want to point something else out. May not be a bad idea. It's business. It's never personal. It's just business. From January, the first week of January of 2023, all the way up until November of next month. And I'm talking about David Benavidez versus Andre. From January to November, as of right now, I don't know what December is going to hold. I don't know if Crawford and Spence are going to fight and rematch in December or not. But we're going to talk about what we know so far from January to November. PBC has out-hustled and outworked every part of a competition they have in this business. And I'm talking about promotional companies. Showtime has out-hustled and out-produced and published every other network that's a part of their competition. That's a fact. And we all can agree to that. From January to next month of November. My point is, boxing has given all of us, fans of boxing, and even some of you who are just fans of fighters and not boxing, but just fans of fighters, Great fights. Great matchups. Now, how they produce in the ring, it is what it is. But from January to next month of November, the matchups that we have all received, and I'm not just talking about just the headliners, I'm even talking about the undercards of these shows as well, have been the best since probably the 90s and early 2000s. We have not seen consistent boxing in this state like it was in this year. Back to back, fight after fight after fight after pay per view after. Bam. That's a good fight. Bam, that was a good undercard. Bam, that was a good card in general. They're going to do this again next month. Ooh, they're going to do this again in two months. Oh, man, this is awesome. We haven't seen this consistent. Boxing matchups in a very, very long time. But guess what? PBC, Al Heyman, Sam Watson, Tom Brown, Steven Espinosa, and everybody else that might not get the recognition and notoriety, but they have been hands on doing the work behind the scenes. They gave boxing fans some good boxing. And you won't find another promoter from January. To, 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 to next month that you can say that I'll hustle them. They gave more competitive fights back to back to back to back and were successful at doing so. You're not going to find one. So my point is, why is it that when something happens with PBC or a report come out with Showtime and PBC, people keep praying on their downfall? Okay, it's a business relationship. Things happen. We can't just keep criticizing PBC and Showtime. They're the biggest players in the game. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's always negative coverage when it comes to Showtime and or PBC. I'm not talking about on everybody's channel. I'm just saying in general, overall, mainstream media included. 
Hey, okay, they're not gonna renew the contract. Okay. Not the first time we heard in sports where contracts are not being renewed. 